Hey everybody, uh, Dish here. Uh, not doing a full knowledge pool today, just wanted to talk about something. Uh, if you are on my Twitter, you would have found out today that I made Mythic. And this was my first Mythic placing in Arena, which I was kind of surprised by how long it took, but I also haven't put a ton of effort into getting to Mythic since I started, so... I mean, I was uh, pretty happy about that. One of the things I want to talk about real quick, just as an update, we were talking about uh, cards and what you need from Arena and things like that in order to make a deck that is playable in the current formats. A lot of people are lamenting that decks cost a certain amount of money, especially historic decks. I just wanted to talk a little bit about the deck that I played in order to make Mythic this month. Uh, and that was Green White Historic Angels. The Green White Historic Angels does have a fair amount of rares in it, and my version has about seven mythics in it, which is what I usually kind of expect in a deck, and that's quite a bit as far as the arena economy goes. Uh, most of those cards I had from the time periods that I played during Standard. I ended up building a lot of those from the collection that I had in Standard. Uh, the mythics are... In particular, uh, Resplendent Angel, which uh, is an M19 card that was pretty easy to get a hold of. Uh, it has a Johnny uh, Strength of the Pride, the uh, the Mythic from M20, and it has a couple copies of uh, uh, Theros God Heliod. Yes, <laughs> Heliod uh, in the deck. And uh, other than that, it is uh, a bunch of angels. Uh, some of them rares from Kaldheim. Some of them uh, uncommons, commons from across various parts of the more recent standard. And it has four copies of Soul Warden, which you would get from the Historic Anthology if you bought it. Or it is for common wild cards. Um, this deck is uh, really neat, and there are versions of it that work to better or worse ver uh, situations. I see a lot of people replace a Johnny with Skyclave Apparition from uh, Zendikar Rising, so that they have more targeted removal and can kind of get rid of random threats. It doesn't work great in the mirror that way, but it does work pretty well against basically any other threat that the deck tends to have uh this deck is super fun and pretty easy to build if you've been playing in the standards as of late and it doesn't use any strixhaven or mystical archive cards and i was very surprised when things switched over i was expecting a huge meta shift and historic has seen a lot of cool and interesting changes because of strixhaven but nothing that kept me from just winning with this deck i just played it correctly and generally had some good hit i had a really decent win streak and if i can get my untapped gg to work i will uh, show it up here on the screen while i'm talking about it but that's all i want to say i just want to give you guys an update remind you that uh sometimes you'll have the cards in your collection to do the things that you want to do there are some hurdles that you have to push through and some things you have to save up for and create if you want to create a deck that works for you but the rewards of creating one deck that works is you can complete that deck and get what you need to get and so by the end of this month i'm thinking i'm getting i think mythic gets five packs and i'll be getting five packs of strixhaven to add to the 104 packs that i have sitting in my pile waiting for me to crack as soon as i hit threshold i will make a video showing about threshold and going ahead and opening the rest of my packs. We'll, uh, we'll talk about real threshold versus uh, theoretical th threshold, and I'll do all kinds of fun stuff. It'll be great. Um, also, I was thinking about starting a uh, system where I go on and stream and probably uh, do a YouTube clip version where I do free to play. I start a new account, and we see how long it takes me to get a new account up to a competitive level. It won't have every card, but something that can actually win games and build a collection. If you're interested in that, please leave me a message down below. Let me know what you think, and uh, we'll work on it from there. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, I'm Dish, and we'll see you later.